This week on Talk Shop, we're going to be looking at tire pressure monitor systems, or TPMS. Tire pressure monitor systems have been used since 2004. They're even older than that. Every vehicle that Pretty Well now built has a tire pressure monitor system in it. So, on this vehicle here, the tire pressure sensor is in the valve itself. Now, we have a special tool that we can use to actually check and see if that sensor is working. Basically, I walk up to the wheel, I hit a scan. And it tells me, yes, this thing is working. It's got 35 pounds in it, and it's at 315 megahertz. That's the signal coming out of it for the computer to read. I can check all four wheels if I want, and I will eventually. But with a tool like this, we can actually reprogram the car to pick up new sensors, because what's going to happen with this vehicle, we're going to be installing its winter tires, and we're going to be installing four new sensors in it. We're actually going to duplicate the signals off the original sensors and install them in the new sensors that are aftermarket so you don't have to go out and spend a fortune buying sensors. To me, this is probably one of the best investments that they ever come up with, this tire pressure monitor, because before you even go out, if your light's on on the dash or flashing, you know you got a tire that's low or you might have an electrical problem in the circuit. So let's head over to the uh, right rear and we're going to duplicate that signal. So the people at Worth have come up with a whole new setup here. They've got brand new sensors that look identical to the factory ones. They come apart, they have the proper core, the proper valve, the proper cap. Very important that you reuse the cap that comes with it because there's a special seal in there to prevent this thing from oxidizing because it is made out of aluminum. So now I want to duplicate this sensor. All I have to do is stick it in the machine here, lock it in and just hit enter, it's going to erase the flash and then reprogram it. There it is, verifying, and now it's done, successful. So what I've done is I've duplicated that sensor. I'll do the rest later, and then we can mount them on the car, and this tire pressure light will stay off unless there's a problem with one of the tires. Okay, so we're here at the tire machine, and Paul's going to install this sensor into the rim, and he's going to mount the tire and there is a certain procedure on how to do this so you do not damage the sensor. So there is a proper seal on that sensor. Now that rubber seal on this sensor is identical to what's on a regular tire valve. That seal needs to be replaced every few years. So just remember that, that every so many years, you have to service these just like you would a tire valve. The rubber gets hard and old and it just starts to leak. Now, when you watch Paul mount this tire, he's gonna put the valve in a certain position so that it can't get damaged. The reason for this lube here is to help ease the rim and tire together for inflation and for easy access to get it on. And if you notice, he has the valve facing away from the head there, so when he puts the tire on, it's not going to grab the valve and break it. That happens a lot, and it's a very, very common thing that happens. What he'll do here, he's going to over inflate the tire, then he's going to release the pressure so the tire seats in properly, and then he's going to inflate it again. The valve core tool that he is using is made specifically for tire pressure monitor valves. There's actually a torque specification on that tool, and you'll see that when he puts it back in, after, this, after he inflates the tire again, you'll actually hear it ratchet when it's tight. Again, the reason why you do this is because you want the tire to sit on the rim nice and square, believe it or not, and that way you know it's going to be nice and true when it's spinning. You're going to hear this wrench ratchet.
So this way he cannot over tighten that valve. That valve is now fixed in its proper torque specification. We don't have to worry about it. Now he's taking it off the machine and he's gonna balance it. This is just a regular procedure that you do every day anyways. Whenever you mount a tire, you wanna balance it. We're more concerned about the tire pressure monitor on this thing, but we are gonna to have to balance it seeing that we just mounted a tire. Balancing doesn't take much, but you have to be good with it. Perfect, everything's great. So we're gonna take this thing, we're gonna put it on the car, and we're gonna see if the tire pressure light goes out. Well, there you have it, the wheels are torqued, the tire pressure sensors are in, they've all been recalibrated to the vehicle, so hopefully, we won't have any problems this winter with a tire pressure light coming on unless there's a problem with a leak in the tire. So let's head over here right now. We we'll just want to make sure that the light does stay off on the dash. If it doesn't stay off, that means we have to reprogram it again. So. Well, there you have it. The light's out. It looks like this uh, car will be ready for the winter. Have a safe one.